Alright, so let's find out how these batteries perform. Let's start the test. Hey guys, today I'll show you how these Rayovac AA batteries compare with Duracell. I'll find out how long each one lasts, and then using current prices, I'll calculate which one gives you the most runtime per dollar. Each battery will be drained using this device at the same current that my flashlight uses on medium brightness, which is 200 milliamps per hour. When the voltage reaches 0.9, the battery is dead and the test will be over. I will use colors to visualize voltage while the battery drains. Most devices will work throughout the entire green voltage range, but in the yellow range, voltage has dropped below 1.1 and some picky electronics will stop working. Almost all electronics will stop working in the red range, but most flashlights will still light up, although the brightness will be significantly reduced. Alright, so let's find out how these batteries perform. Let's start the test. Testing is over, and Rayovac Fusion is the clear winner here. It claims to be the longest lasting alkaline battery or your money back, and it definitely did not disappoint. It lasted 1 hour and 9 minutes longer than the Duracell Optimum. Rayovac High Energy managed to squeeze out 2 minutes more than the Duracell Optimum, so it came in 2nd place. And Duracell Optimum came in at number 3, although it actually did quite well in the green voltage range, so I would consider this battery a little bit better than the Rayovac High Energy. Duracell Quantum was lost, and it didn't stand up to the longest lasting alkaline battery, which is what is claimed on the package. But these results only tell us how long the batteries last, we will need to compare prices to figure out which battery offers the best value. I got the best prices from Amazon, and I created this chart, which shows how many hours each battery provides for $1. Rayovac High Energy in a 72 pack offered the best value, giving out 37.4 hours per dollar. Rayovac Fusion in a 16 pack was next at 19.8 hours, Duracell Optimum in a 12 pack offered 12.2 hours, and Duracell Quantum in a 16 pack gave out 11.2 hours for one dollar. So this chart considered the entire life of the battery, including the yellow and red voltage ranges, so let's see what happens if we compare these in the green voltage range only. So the Rayovac Fusion has cut up quite a bit to the Rayovac High Energy. In the previous chart, it was 17 hours behind, but now it's only 6 hours behind, and that's because the Fusion did very well in the green voltage range. Duracell Optimum is also closer to the Fusion now, but it's still quite far behind. And here's the final chart with the best price per battery that I found, and not surprisingly, the battery that won the best value also has the lowest price. So to sum it up, the Rayovac High Energy offered the best value in a 72 pack because the price per battery was very low and the battery offered a pretty good runtime. Rayovac Fusion was the longest lasting battery in this test, but since it costs more than the Rayovac High Energy, it offered less runtime per dollar, so it didn't offer as good of a value. Both of the Duracell batteries didn't last longer than Rayovac, but they cost quite a bit more, so the value per dollar was significantly less for the Duracell compared to the Rayovac. I hope you found this video useful. If you liked it, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out my channel and consider subscribing. I'll be posting more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.